Today our boat headed out to the Aquarius Reef Base where the aquanauts will live, work, eat and sleep on the ocean floor for the next seven days. I'm a technology and oceans reporter and when I heard Aquarius was having its last scheduled mission I had to check it out for myself. My dive buddies were Mark Ostrich from One World One Ocean and Fabian Cousteau, the grandson of Jacques Cousteau. Fabian Cousteau is visiting Aquarius because his grandfather created the first underwater habitats 50 years ago. We were the first to visit the aquanauts and get a tour of the habitat as they moved into the new home. What is all this stuff? It's moving in day, 20,000 millimeters under the sea. One of the coolest pieces of real estate on the planet. We just got here a few minutes ago and now we're moving in. You can see there's lots of action in the bunk room. A lot going on. There's a lot of pots coming down right now, all the electronics, and uh, I'm just eating a cracker. Uh, there's actually wireless internet access, so we're underwater and there's wireless internet access. You can surf the web. We also got a, a million dollar view out of this uh, prime piece of real estate. We eat our meals here. This is a, a wonderful place to, to take in the, the predator show at night. Um, but most of the time we're actually outside. That's, that's the whole purpose of this uh, underwater space station is not to be in it, but to be out on the reef doing our experiments and studying this wonderful coral reef. This is my third experience here. I hope not my last. It's like a dream come true. It's what little kids dream about. And here we are, we can be little kids realizing our dreams. It was a really unique experience interviewing Sylvia Earle in Aquarius. She's lived underwater nine times before this and I think that makes her the most experienced of any aquanaut around. Treatment for the bends. These are all valves to control the air in the habitat. These are all switches, almost like a breaker in your house. You do not want to hit that red button right there. Not, don't want to hit that button. Right here, you can see us where that's actually the live webcam going out to the internet. Over here, we have our galley, and our sink. We got hot water, microwave. Somebody, uh, we was making mac and cheese there. So up here we have uh, a lot of food. Yummy M&M's. That's not a plug for M&M's, but they are very, very good. We've, we've learned, you know, how to take showers and keep the habitat nice and dry, where to hang our towels, you know, equinaut etiquette. <laughs> These doors all have O-ring seals. These are all sealing surfaces. We actually close these doors and pressurize the inside cabin here to a different pressure. This is where we'll decompress at the end of the mission. We'll bring the inside pressure all the way up to sea level with the door shut, and then we'll do a very short dive to the surface. Brian, we're gonna have to wrap it up. All right, one minute. The aquanauts can be down there for seven days straight because they're saturating, but since we're just scuba divers, We've only got an hour in the lab, and for that hour you have, it goes by so quick. Before you know it, it's just time to leave. Sylvia and the other aquanauts were gracious hosts, and I look forward to visiting them again.